Africa. Yes, me might know I've got a line on my pocket, but me alright. Give thanks for life, me say me alright. Me say me might know I've got a million of the bank, but for I and I life, me give thanks. Yeah, me now got a line on my pocket, but me alright. Give thanks for life, me say me alright. Me might know we ain't quit that fool. I was a hip hop junkie. Not even was, is a hip hop junk, you know what I mean? What kind of hip hop? Like, both hip hop and rap, you know what I mean? The biggest Smalls kind of in the club, kind of, and then the Tupac kind of serious meds kind of lyrics, that, you know what I mean? I was just about hip hop. I like dancehall, but certain kind of dancehall, but I love reggae. Artists like Taurus, Octane, them kind of artists there? Eh? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they're practically. Or I should say they're before me, so I should say I'm practically doing the same thing that they're doing, you know what I mean? Which is just making good music. Whether it comes to a dance or rhythm, when it comes to a reggae rhythm, it's a roots rhythm. It's just making good music, you know what I mean? So that's really, that's just me, really. Just making good music. If I get a reggae rhythm right now, and it sounds good and it speaks to me, I'm going to record it. Roots rhythm, the same. Dance all rhythm, the same. You know, but some dance all rhythm, I just cannot find something good to say on. You know what I mean? Like you have some rhythm that there is just really nothing good to say. Really and true. Like, that's just the truth. I wasn't trying to meet like the big people in the industry and get their approval or whatever. Their approval is nice, you know what I mean? I wanted it but not at the time when it came. You know what I mean? At the time when it came I was just like, okay, let's just Record some songs, you know what I mean, get more mastery from the craft, you know what I mean, because I, I, feel, I felt like I wasn't ready mm. for mainstream, mm. you know what I mean, I felt underground, so my thing was get rhythms that came out, record on it, Facebook, YouTube, you know, work the internet, make mixtapes, go in the street, like I, I, I was never trying to get to a radio DJ or, you know what I mean, so that's the difference with me. As opposed to other artists, mm. you know what I mean. Other artists would do the work, but not try get it to the people. Mm. You know what I mean. They would try get it to DJs or try to get it to a producer for them to like it and then give them a chance at a big You know what I mean. But I was signed before change. Mm. You know what I mean because we we, we, we we made that link as I was telling you. Before, you know what I mean, all of the, the, the mainstream music. Because as I, I was just focused on getting the music to people, you know what I mean, like just regular people. I just wanted them to be playing the music, listening to the music, you know what I mean, but people hear things, you know what I mean, and that's how we got the link with Jimmy. And then, you know what I mean, we released Change and Change was huge overseas like i don't have a song that's as huge as change overseas and change was never a huge song in jamaica at all comes back to the same thing i was saying earlier you know what i mean like some people will try a new song some won't exactly change is my biggest song overseas today right but it's not even near to my biggest song in jamaica Gone or the thing is, it's not really the idea of albums really going, it's just the way that Jamaican people like you, you break into this habit of hearing music at a certain pace. No, let's make some comparisons. Yeah? Hip hop, pop, any one of them genres. It. Rihanna releases a song now, don't look for a next song from her for a couple months right Jamaica release a song today people want to hear a next song next week or two weeks you know what I mean that's the big difference now when we're gonna release a song now in the time that it going to take for her to release a next song might as well be making an album and just use it as a single to promote the album but that's the thing we don't use songs in Jamaica to necessarily promote something 
a song is like a song. So, you know what I mean? Because we do this thing where we have a rhythm and like we put a, a couple artists on it. Like it's not just one artist rhythm. You know what I mean? So we have five artists, six artists, seven artists and the same rhythm. Yeah, so it really the rhythm would be the album. I mean they will try. Like with music, like you guys will try new music, like new artists and such. Yeah. Right? But over here, where you're used to a certain kind of music and a certain kind of sound, mm. the first thing if you hear it and it does sound a certain kind of way, it not gonna really grab you a certain way. You know what I mean? Not necessarily saying that it's not good, mm. but it's just what they're used to. Like if you're used to one thing and then it change it. I gonna be totally different. So you know, must accept it. But you have people that are willing to accept it and try with it. So not every DJ in Jamaica is the same way. You have certain DJ that will stick with the certain kind of music with them like. The formula. Exactly. Exactly. The formula. And you have some people who will experiment with the formula. You know what I mean? Like you see the song, you have a new song. You know what I mean? I like how it sounds. And try it. Sometimes it might not work. I mean, sometimes it does. But that's minority. Majority sticks with the formula. Mm. Exactly. So how? The thing with dancehall is right. Like some artists don't really put a lot into their work. You know what I mean? So it's not every dancehall song. Like, like back in the FKD days and them song there eh, just work and those were dancehall songs and up to today if you play one of them songs there anywhere it's still going to be like the song just released last week that's good music you know what i mean so reggae nice because like from bob come straight back up d brown you know what i mean come up sizzler capitan bujo you know what I mean? Up to two the day artists, you know what I mean? The Kabaka, them, the Kesnam, them, the Chronics, them. You know, them are make good music. So reggae is really good music from beginning to end. You know what I mean? Like I could never hear a reggae song that I could say, oh, this is garbage, you know. And you just don't talk garbage on a reggae rhythm. It just no work. <laughs> like the way the industry is set, it can only look away. Like this reggae artist and a hip hop track. It just like a look away. The thing is, it can be done, but at this stage, it's better not to be done. Mm. At yeah. this stage, so do it. exactly. Jack of all trades, master of none. Mm. You know what I mean? So you just fit a lane first, mm. and you hold that lane, you're certain of that lane, and then you can try new things. You know what I mean? But at first, you need to be at home. Yeah, you can't just be all over the place. So, really, that's. Why I'm not gonna really look to the hip hop side or whatever. Future references, you know what I mean? It's possible. Yeah, it is possible, you know what I mean? Try until I reach my destination. I'm flowing like the birds and the bees. To you it might be hard, but Reggae Raja say it's a vacation. I'm flowing like Back, relax and enjoy the ride Reggae Rogers said the tides of life Road might slippery and yes we might a slide Rastafari machine and guide Always keep us fear cause you never know If the road ahead it a go rocky got your destination You ready for road Jaja take control Reggae Rogers them trading till them reach The destination Them flowing like the birds And them flowing like the bees yeah a sucker! I'm asked to represent for the Reggae Rogers and what it's in the right.